Hello, I wanted to make this video, this quick video on how to um, replace or upgrade the processor that's in this laptop. I actually had a viewer that asked me how to do this, how to upgrade. He wanted to know how to upgrade the processor in this laptop. So I'll make a quick video to show you how to do this. And the viewer actually speaks Spanish, so I will be adding, if I can, I will be adding a Spanish subtitle um, to this video. The video is going to be in English, but with a Spanish subtitle. And I don't really know how to do that, but I looked on YouTube. I see that it, it could be done. You could add a um, subtitle in another language. So I haven't figured out how it's done, but um, I'll see if I can. And if I can't do it, I'm just going to manually you know, do it when I edit the video. So I'm just going to show you real quick how to upgrade this processor in the HP ProBook 6360B. And basically, um, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm not going to remove the processor because actually I already did it like um, several months ago. And this is my main laptop. This is like my daily driver that I use to do all my um, videos. I edit all my videos with this laptop, do all my work on it. So... Um, I already, you know, changed the process, so, but I'm going to just going to show you how to do it, you know, give you the steps and what tools you need and how to replace it. So, I'm going to start right now. So, first thing you want to do, as always, when anything that you are upgrading, if it's a computer, you want to remove the battery if you can. Uh, the newer laptops don't have removable batteries, so since this is an old laptop. It has a removable battery. So the first thing you want to do is just flip it over like this. Remove the battery. So this actually, what's great about this laptop is uh, the Pro Books and the Elite Books. They have just one panel, bottom panel that you can remove and you can access everything. So it's just one latch, one latch for the panel and one for the battery. And I believe this is the battery. Okay. Like that and others for the latch okay so once you remove the battery next thing you want to do is, is remove this bottom plate right here so all you do remove this um, hit this um, latch right here and the whole bottom panel come off so as you can see this is you know this is where all your components are at and even if you want to remove uh, or upgrade the memory in this laptop, you still um, have to, you know, go through the back of this to remove the keyboard to access the second um, memory slot. There's two memory slots, one underneath the keyboard. But anyway, so you want to upgrade the processor in this. And I would definitely recommend it because this one, I actually had a Core i5 processor in here. So I upgraded it from a um, Core i5 to a core i7 and let me tell you it's one of the best improvements that i have made on this laptop everything is just um quick so that's probably one of the best things i did was upgrade the processor in this laptop because everything just runs quick now um the interface is just snappy the menus just pop up real quick and it even shuts down within a couple of seconds two seconds shut down so it's really worth you know spending the 50 dollars to upgrade the processor so the first thing you want to okay it's actually the second thing now you want to do is um remove the fan right here Let's see if i could show it real quick so right here this is the most important thing when you want to you know remove the processor out of this particular laptop is that you have to remove the fan first that's the first thing that you do because if you don't remove the fan it's going to be really hard to remove uh the cpu right here with the heat sink because the heat sink actually as you can see it goes all the way around around the fan so you just can't remove the heat, the heat sink first without you know uh, and take it out because the fan is, is kind of on top of it so the first thing you want to do is remove the fan so I'm gonna actually do that try to remember um, it's really hard to see because the way I had a camera angle I'm right over the camera so I'm trying to see okay it's two screws I think yes you have one right here you see this and you have another one right here so I'm just going to screw this right now this 
There we go. And the second one's right here. I'm trying to have it so you can see it clearly. So that's it. And what you want to do is kind of, there we go, get it to come out. I did this before, but I'm kind of, there we go. Then what you want to do, I would, you know, disconnect the fan right here. There's a um, connector right here, and it just pulls out, and there you go. Now, too, you know, it's a good idea since you remove the fan, you can actually clean it. Like this one has a little bit of dust, as you can see. Yeah, it's a little bit of dust. But since you remove the fan, I would recommend, you know, cleaning it. And that will really improve, you know, your laptop. If your laptop is overheating and you don't know why it's overheating, most of the time it's because of this fan. The fan has a lot of dust in it. This one actually cleaned out. You know several months ago but as you can see the dust is kind of accumulating again so that will actually improve your laptop you know the heat it will cause it to you know have um, less heat if you clean the fan because if the fan is not clean the over the laptop will overheat and it would damage you know the motherboard so it's a good idea to clean it since you have it out so now what you want to do this is you know really simple to do this is actually more easier it's more easier to replace the processor than it is to replace the screen on this laptop. I had a really difficult time replacing the screen. And I have replaced screens on laptops before, but this one's really difficult to do. So remove the processor. And actually this was my first time removing a processor out of this one. And it was easy. It only took me about you know 10 minutes or 15 minutes to do it. So now what you want to do next is just a screw these four screws right here. There's one, two, three, four. And this is where the pro this is actually the heat sink that goes over the processor to keep it cool. So you just want to, and I believe these screws they don't um, they are attached to the heat sink so they don't fall out or you won't lose them. Really easy to do. Okay, there you go. So. So I'm not going to actually lift this out because, um, you know, I took time and I put paste, thermal paste. And that's one thing, too, you have to remember. You know, when you remove this processor and remove this heat sink, make sure you clean off the thermal paste on this heat sink. And put new thermal paste because if you don't put any thermal paste on this heat sink and the processor, Basically, you want to put the heat, um, the thermal paste on the processor, not the heat sink. I'm sorry. Um, but if you don't add any thermal paste on the processor, um, the laptop is going to really get heat up really hot and it's just going to damage the laptop. And the thermal paste is what actually helps, you know, the laptop helps it have a longer life. Because, you know, anytime you're watching videos or doing anything with a lot of stress to it, it's going to heat up the laptop. And if you don't have thermal paste, it's going to basically burn up the um, processor or your motherboard. So I would rec recommend getting this type of thermal paste. This is actually silver. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like silver thermal paste. If you see if I can show it up close. I'm too close. There we go. That's the name of it. You can see it. I can't see it from here. But, you know, you can find this stuff on eBay. I had it on focus. There we go. So that's the brand. This is the one that I use. And it's good to get the silver kind because I think the silver kind lasts longer. I heard a lot of reviews where the silver lasts a lot longer. Keeps your uh, laptop more cooler. But this is what you want to use. And, you know, just buying one of these is enough. So all you need to use, you know, if you get one this size... Because when you order them, they come in usually pack of twos, four, or five pack. And all you need is just one tube. And this is a tube that I used. I only used about a quarter of this much, you know. One tube is more than enough. One tube, you could probably do three processors. You know, if you just go replace just one, all you need is just one tube. And you just use a little bit, you know, like a third of this or a quarter of this is more than enough. So that's what you want to do. So once you remove the fan, 
you unscrew this and you lift this up and the thing with this you have to be kind of careful because it's kind of hard to get out but you have to um put it at an angle basically you have to for this um heat sink to come out you have to turn it at an angle and i believe you turn it um which way is this uh i think you kind of turn it up at a right angle and this will come right out and then when you put it back in you turn it to the left down and it just fits right in so just remember that you're gonna to have to turn this at an angle and kind of turn it out like this kind of like a spiral with a turn like that and this will come right out and then once you remove this then the processor is right there and the first thing you want to do um, the processor is actually attached with a latch so basically there's like a little latch like right here that you lift up or that you um turn that you uh, switch and it releases the processor and you just pull it up because the processor is actually locked to the motherboard so there's a little latch remember and you just hit the latch and the processor will just lift right up and here's what the processor looks like that was in the laptop before this is a core i3 see as you can see um you can see this paste right here now this is a thermal paste that was on it and I wiped it off but you can see um, this is what the processor looks like and it sits in this laptop like this this is the top this is where the heat sink fits over the processor and this part goes into the motherboard as you can see and it goes in one way and it comes out one way so you cannot you know make a mistake and put it put it in wrong or backwards it goes in one way so this is the top so it just fits down in the motherboard like this and it goes I forgot which way it goes okay I'm back you know what I'm using my um, Sony a6000 and the camera just overheated you know I only did about five or six minutes of this video and the camera overheated and shut off so I'm gonna try to get through this quick before my camera shuts off again but as I was saying earlier um, this fits in one way fits down like this or whatever way it fits it fits one way and then you put it down and then once you got it down in the motherboard you just you know hit the latch and it locks it down keep it from moving but the first thing you want to do once you remove this processor you know when you get your new processor you want to take the thermal paste and you just want to uh, make sure you cover this whole chip right here there's like a I guess like a gold plated or silver plated chip right here uh, contact and you, you want to make sure you put the thermal paste over this um, gold or silver contact right here, over this part. And make sure you put it on nice and even. And you don't have to put none on, on this part right here. This is the heat sink. You don't have to really put none on the heat sink. Just make sure you get it on this processor right here on this part as you can see. And then you set it down in there. You lock it in. And then... You know you don't want to smear so make sure you put the heat sink back in here and when you put it back make sure you kind of turn it like this way where this part fits in and make sure you know you put it down gently so you don't smear the paste all over the chip and just put it down gently on top of the chip and then when you finish you just screw it back in and then after you screw it down then you replace the fan you know you put the fan back in and you are done and then you you know you boot up turn your laptop on boot it up and everything will work you don't have to add no drivers or nothing it will recognize the new processor okay so now I'm just going to put everything back and when you do that that's about it you know it's really simple to do I would recommend doing it this is more easier to upgrade the processor than, than it is to replace a screen on this laptop so I would re recommend anybody doing this because it's really simple. It only takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes for your first time doing this. Mm. And there you go. I just plug it in. All you want to do is just set it back in here like this. It's kind of hard to fit in there a little bit, but just working in there. Let me see. And I'm trying to make this video quick because my um, camera, you know, the Sony cameras, they overheat. And I can see it might overheat again. But all you do is put this back. I think it goes in like this. Oh, okay. I had it the wrong way. Here we go. Just like this. 
put this side in first like this. There you go. See? And And tape right here. This, this, that. But see, real easy. Just screws in two screws to take the fan out, and goes right in. It's plugged in, and then screw these back down. Whoops, moving a little bit. But yeah, I did this process, you know, six, seven months ago, about six months ago, and this laptop has been working, you know, really fine, really great and fast. But that's about it. Then you put the bottom panel on it, like this. Hit the latch, put in the battery, hit the latch, and that's it, you're done. Turn it on, and you're ready to go. There you go. So yeah, I would definitely recommend upgrading the processor on this laptop. Then it goes starts right back up, because it's definitely worth it. And you know, if you could upgrade to a Core i7, you could find that chip on eBay for only 50 bucks and it would make your laptop just run faster snappy response it's just overall just great performance and this is what I edit my videos on this video YouTube videos I, this is what I use for right now so I hope you enjoyed this video if you need any more help um, just you know contact me on my YouTube page and also I'm gonna make another video full video on how to replace the processor on an elite book because this one right here I have an elite book this is a 84 8460W a workstation and this one is not really working very well so there's something wrong with the motherboard so this one I'm gonna definitely take it apart and I'm gonna replace it I'm gonna actually uh, clean up the processor on it put new thermal paste on it so I'm gonna do a full you know, um, I guess you could say upgrade, uh, process upgrade on this. I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to just go to clean the process out in my next video. So look for that, you know, soon. So thank you for watching this video. If you like it, you know, leave a like. Thank you very much. Goodbye.